Who was John D. MacArthur? Part one. When he started what we know as Ballon Isles, MacArthur was already one of America's few billionaires. Forbes magazine listed him among five, which included people like J. Paul Getty and Howard Hughes. So who was John D. MacArthur, and how did he get so rich? He was born in Pittston, Pennsylvania, a railroad and mining town near Scranton, in 1897. He was the seventh of seven children. His father was an itinerant preacher, moving from church to church. His mother, Georgiana, was the more influential parent of the seven children. She was very well organized and very frugal. Her careful spending allowed her large family to subsist on very little. In fact, despite the family's meager income, they were even able to make contributions to her husband's various churches. Frugality became a theme for John Dee's life, but we'll have much more on that later. Being an itinerant preacher meant moving the family often. During John's formative years, his family moved from Pennsylvania to New York and finally to Chicago. Then, when John was only 14 years old, his mother passed away. Two years later, at age 16, he quit school to go to work. That was the end of John D. MacArthur's formal education, age 16. He then started selling insurance, and he was very good at it. But only a few years later, what we know as World War I, interrupted everyone's life. Consistent with his aggressive character, John volunteered and became a fighter pilot. And he was good at that too, decorated often. After the war, it was back to work. Now John's older brother, Charles, enters our story. Charles MacArthur was a rising star in journalism. He eventually became an accomplished playwright. He married Helen Hayes. Charles urged John to try journalism. John tested it, working on the Chicago Herald Examiner, but journalism was not for him. He soon returned to his first taste of success, selling insurance. 